Okay, I'm Geodav and we're in for another long one. Okay, so what we're going to do this time? Well, this time what we're going to do is import a animation for the vehicle which we will use for when the vehicle fires. Alright, let's get things started because this is going to take a while. Trust me. Okay, open with package. Alright, in this case, fully load it. And now, let's see if I can get this to come up the way I want it. Let's see, right click, uh, da, 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 da. create a new anim set from mesh. Okay, smashing. Right, the name that we want for this is K. Okay, well, uh, anims, nah. Let's follow the uh, epic naming procedure. All the anim sets start with K. Now we'll just go, no, we don't want it in the mesh pack section. We'll put that in the anims. Okay, right, ready, get, go. Now straight away what happens, it associates the, uh, the anim set with the mesh. If you don't do it that way and you just right click in the editor and say yeah, then initially what you'll have to do is go into the mesh, on the mesh tab here, then click down and f find the vehicle that you're playing with. Okay, you've got to have that set because when you import your animation, it's looking for the bones. Yeah. Okay, smashing. Right. Next thing, importing an animation. Once you've got the anim set open, go up to File and Import PSA. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing here. I created the animation in Blender and exported it as a PSA file. Okay, if you're using FBX, then obviously import FBX, but mine's a PSA file. So, and straight away we've actually got it into the uh, correct folder, so I don't have to go hunting for it, which is quite handy. Now, you might ask, well, why is that? Because yeah, I checked last night to make sure it did work. Okay, so we've got it in. But see no difference here. Go on to the Anim tab, and this is specific. Well, I won't say specific. I think it happens now in FBX as well. Now, if I've exported an animation as a PSS, PSA file from Blender without naming it, it will come in as Amateur Action. Now, obviously, if you're having multiple animations, you don't want multiple versions of a name called Amateur Action. So what we need to do is quickly change that name. So with that selected, go up here to Anim Sequence, Rename Sequence, and you get this little window open here. And what we're going to go is uh, BC Car Fire. Happy with that? Do we think we'll, oh, we'll just leave it at that? Shouldn't cause any conflicts, hopefully. Now, just to make sure this works, what I'm going to do is zoom in on my barrels. Now, obviously, the uh, the thing doesn't work the same way as Blender, so just hit the play button. Wait, do you see that? I will put it on a loop. Now, it's not perfect. Trust me, having a few problems with Blender, but hey, you can see it works. Okay, right. Anything else here we need to do? Uh, no. At this moment in time, no. So close it out. Save your package. Important. Each time, once you've done something, save your package. Because you don't... UDK doesn't crash a lot, well, not for me anyway, but for other people it does. So, right, we're now going to go into the Anims package, into the Anim tree. Now, as you can see, we've got the morph targets all up there. Now, what do we need to do here? Well, let's just, there we go, open that up a bit. Now, same with the morph targets, uh, you need to add the Anim set. So add it there. Just open this up. Now back into the browser. 
highlight the anim set back in here and where was it yeah. do it again there we go just add in that add in there we're happy what else do we need to do right what else we need to do is add a node now what sort of node well that's a good question we need a anim player node now if we have a look new anim node we got a ooh, filter added down the direction mirror random ooh, oh my god what is this uh, now I did have it yeah anim node sequence there we go you UT anim node now what I'm gonna do here is add that in there all right and the next thing I'm going to do is because I know of a UT3 vehicle which has this and that's what we're going to have a look at to make sure I have got the right one now I say I've checked this out before which was about f f three four days ago so it's completely lost in my head now as you can see here Cydia player non all right this is the one that actually plays the, se the sequences so what we're going to do is make sure and in node sequence uh, all right let me just uh, here we go here we go we get there so just compare notes <laughs> which is basically the, the the way I, I work I look at see, see how the UT3 vehicles have been done and just go on from there all right UDK and in node sequence yeah and in node sequence group display camera performance yeah close that down close that down and in node don't need the morph and let's get in here Look on the anim node scrolling down and as you can see here everything's the same I need a name there so we'll go what was it they've called this Cydia player okay so we're going to call it as BC car player now you may wonder why this is necessary I'm just going to go through these and check that everything else is set correctly right, I'll start node sequence there we go let's see okay node sequence now as you can see ah, didn't want that cause actor anim end hmm. No, this should cut the call the on anim end event on its parent actor when it reaches at the end and stops. Hmm, I don't think we actually need that for this. Yeah. So we'll just leave that out at the moment. What else have we got? Anything else? No. Let's see group. Synchronize. Let's just quickly go through these. Synchronize, yeah. display, nothing ticked, camera, nothing, performance, okay. Let's just go group, yeah. Display, camera, performance, yep, yeah. okay, that looks fine. All we have to do now is link that up into there. Now, can you see the anims playing? Uh, no, because it's just a sequence an old but remember the name all right do we need to do anything else here well first thing we've got to do obviously is save the package save the package right now we start the fun and i'm being very sarcastic with this very very sarcastic so what do we need to do now well the animation for the weapon fire is not going to work at this moment in time why 
because it's not being called by anything at all. So what do we do? We go find out on how to do it and we have to do that in code. Now I'm not going to close the editor just yet because I don't like trying to type in names of things. So what we're going to do is jump into our code. Now, we're not going to go to the turret yet. Yet. Uh, right. What we have to do here is obviously add in the anim set. Not like what I messed up with the morph targets. So what we're going to do, go back, jump back in here. Anims. Right click on it. Copy full name to clipboard. Go in here. Anim set. Paste. Nearly boo boo there. See that? Yeah. See, I do it that way to make sure I don't create any typos. Right, next thing we have to do. Now, the thing is, with the Scorpion code, there is nothing here which tells you about it. Playing the vehicle anims. You've got vehicle effects, but not the anims. So how do we know how to do this? Well, as you saw when I was playing around in the editor, I had a look at the, the Cydia, probably not pronounced right, because I know the Cydia has got anims which are played. So let's go have a quick look and see how they di how Epic have done it on the Cydia. So we go into Classes, UT Game Content, go down the bottom, and where we go, there we go, Cydia Content. Now, if we go down here, just scroll down a little bit. Yes, you've got two seats, which means two weapons. You've got the anim sets. Now, the Cydia doesn't have any morph targets. Hmm, strange. But, but what it does have, when you go down a bit further, is the vehicle anims. Now, if you look at these, you've got vehicle anim 0 to 3, right, which gives you four animations. And if you look at the uh, the sequence names, you've got in, inactive, still, get in, idle, and get out. And at the back end, you've got anim player name, Cydia player. You see where we're going? The only thing that people get confused with is the anim tags. Created, engine start, idle, engine stop. Now these are functions which are called from I believe I might be wrong but I believe from the UT vehicle code so have a look through the UT vehicle code and you'll find these functions called somewhere and when the function gets called e.g. when the vehicle is created when it's spawned you will have this animation attached to it when the player gets in the e.g. engine start and in sequence get in an animation plays on the vehicle idle while somebody's sat in there giving it doo 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 that's the one it, it'll play and when he gets out engine stop the get out sequence so all we're going to do is make a nice copy of that go into our BC car content now let me just let's try and do it. Yeah, they put it under underneath the effects. So what we're going to do here is just add a bit of space and paste. Now what we've got to do here is obviously add in the sequence name, the player name. So let's go back into here, into the anim set. Anim BC car fire. Now, unfortunately, you can't. Well, I suppose if we go, let's see, copy sequence name to clipboard. Wee! How about that? Go back into code. Yeah, there we go. And paste that in there. There we go. No typos. And again, what we can go in and do into the anim tree just to make sure. We don't get any typos. No, copy. Back in there. Into the player. Paste. Are we done? 
Unfortunately, not quite. Now, the reason why I say this is because for this animation to be, to be played, it has to be called by something. Now, we don't want it being called at, let's say, when the vehicle's created, or when it's idled, or when he gets in, or when he gets out. We want it played when the weapon is fired. Well, hang on, let's have a, have a quick... Before we get there, a little one. B and in loop in last sequence. False. Now, if we leave it on that, it's quite possible it won't loop. So what we're going to do is just type in true so that when you hold down the, the left mouse button to play the animate, well, to fire the weapon, the animation will just loop instead of just playing once. Yeah? Okay, let's get back to the anim tag. How do we actually create an anim tag? Now, you can go in and go code, 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 code. Uh, when this happens, that happens. Call this and call that. We don't have to. It's, to an extent, it's already there. Okay, so where is it? Well, normally, and I say normally, you will find the effects for the let's let's see if we can go up here here we go turret sockets all right vehicle effects boost that muzzle flash now we could go for muzzle flash all right i know you're saying well why well the start tag if if we put in muzzle muzzle flash the muzzle that will be called when the event the uh, the weapon is fired. Now I'm just going off this one. Uh, yeah, well, well, what we'll do, we'll do that. But I know I'm digressing slightly here. But what you normally find is that in the turret code, all right, we're going to try it as as it is. But in the turret code, you will normally get a fire tag. Now, with the uh, the Scorpion turret, we don't have a fire tag for some reason. And to be honest, at, at this moment in time, I don't really want to go digging in there too far. So what we're going to try... Well, let me digress one moment. Let's go into, let's say, the Manta gun. Fire trigger tags. Man to weapon one, man to, man to weapon two. If you look in the, uh, let's just do it again, in the content. All right, we'll go to the vehicle effects. All right, vehicle effects, start tag, man to weapon one, man to weapon two. That calls the muzzle flashes. Yeah. See where I'm coming from? Now, obviously, somewhere within the Scorpion code, let me just, well, what we'll do, is that this is one of the good things about copying, about working in text editors. Right, it's not in there. I can't see anything in there. So let's just go into classes, PC car. We've got lots of stuff in there. And we'll just search, right, paste, that, paste that in there. From the top, find. Function cause mus muzzle flash vehicle event. All right, super can cause. Blah, 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 see, it fits me. Should have the general code for this in UT vehicle. <laughs> right, so we're causing at some stage we're causing a vehicle event muzzle flash. You might you might want this for a later date, but uh, let, let's just go find the next occurrence muzzle flash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's where it's being called. So let's see if this actually works for us. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is down here, muzzle flash, anim tag, paste that in there. But if this doesn't work, I can show you a way around. Well, I'll tell you what the way, way around is right now. All you got to do is 
put in your fire t take fi fire trigger tags from here copy that line paste it into your turret change the name of the the tag you can have one name or two names for us it'd be one name because we've only got one uh weapon in that sense just give it say some like bc car fire turret fire and then in there put it there okay so right what we've got to do now right, i'll just close this down save me file close this down now i'm just double clicking on the editor you can double click on game uh, because i've altered one of the uh, the source files it will ask me to recompile the, the scripts which is what we're doing and happy as larry fine so now back into the editor have a slug of coffee here we go get rid of that open our recent big indoor map well not so big all right we've got the vehicle in there already so all we have to do is play from here jump in now if you watch the tip of this barrel all right i can't, I can't point it point at it because obviously the mouse is okay right, let's quickly get out of that now that didn't work so what we're going to do now is well first thing let's just make sure we haven't boo-booed somewhere check the launch log it's funny when I try this on the other computer, it works first time. Okay. Right, okay. Don't see anything there. So what we're going to do is go to the Manta weapon. Going to copy the line with the fire tags. And we're going to go to BC car turret. Yeah. Alright, just make a bit of space here. Up in there. Paste that in. Uh, come on. Get everything lined up. Now I'm just going to give this one name here. Uh, BC Car Turret. Fire. Oh, I should make that. Yeah. Come on. Should make them small, shouldn't I? Okay. Copy. Now in here. Paste that in there. So it calls that event when that event is called we should play that sequence he said so we'll try that again recompile the scripts there we go we start the editor Uh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Mm. That's because I was sort of like diverting, thinking, oh, oh, we can cheat. Yeah, didn't work, did it? Okay, recent, uh, big indoor map. Okay, put that out of the way. Play from here. No. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm going to be... <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, one last try. I'm just thinking, one last try. 
One last try is setting that to false again. And we might actually see something. And in rate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, one last try, and if it, this doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll stop the video and I'll go try and find a fault. He said, hopefully. Oh dear. Now I'm not too sure whether it's in the anim tree or not. Whether I use the wrong sequence. Play from here. You are on red. You are on red, yes, I know. So, what I'll do, I'll stop the video and I'll come back and find out what the problem is. I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, I'm back again. And what was the fault that I had? Well, like I did mention, I expect the fault was actually in the anim tree and I was quite correct. Now, I don't know how I managed to do this, but uh, the actual thing that you need here is right click in the area, anim sequence and UT anim node sequence. Now if you click on that, you get that. Now if I add a Let's see, and in those frame player, it doesn't look the same. Okay, so you delete that. Now, I'm not too sure where I went wrong, but what we'll do is just to prove that it does work, I'm going to cause that to, to end there. And what we're going to do is copy that name into there, put it into here, now paste, yep, so break that link, put into our new one, go out, yep, save it, now go play from here, I'm still on red I know, alright, Pointing the weapon up as far as possible. Just spin. Okay, so the problem was, in my case, our point hold is fairly good. Either the enemy was playing too fast or not blatant enough. So you can just about make it. Okay, so that's what the problem was in the anim tree. The animation wasn't being played correctly because I was using the wrong node. Okay, so we're happy with that. Now back in there, just remember, for the animations, right click, animation sequence, and I used the UT anim node sequence. Okay, if it still doesn't work, the best way to check is go down to the Cydia, alright, because this is what I just did. Open the anim tree to see the Cydia player. What you can do is just go copy and then paste it into your actual your own anim tree and then link it all up. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually give in here in the properties the actually the actual name of the node or what type of node it is. I mean, yeah, it does say anim node sequence, but which one? Okay. That's probably where I probably clicked on the wrong one and we'll let it go at that. But that's how to do it. That's how to get your, your vehicle fire animations working. Now for other vehicle animations you're going to have to wait a while because I'm going to be doing that on maybe, I'm not too sure whether it'll be on the hover or the flyer, but that's not going to be for a few weeks yet. Okay then, so that's that fixed and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.